That is not what I want to hear, Marcella. I don't want to hear anything about 30s. No. No, I like the 70s, but I can feel it, Gainer. I got my boots on. I've got my faux leather jacket on. It, it's coming. Mm -hmm. It's coming. So pretty soon I will be inside, mm -hmm. not outside. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. I know you got me. All right. I am at the Then and Now Auto Show in Lake Forest. This is a Lotus Formula B race car that actually had a pretty good run back in uh, 1969. So this is a, a great show that has cars from as far back as 1910 all the way to 1922. And Tim Olson owns these three babies over here. So tell me about, they all have kind of a good backstory. So yeah. what's this backstory? There was a jazz singer who owned this. Yes, this the first owner of this car was a man, a woman by the name of Pia Beck and she was from the Netherlands okay. and when she bought the car she designed it exactly the way she wanted it. Okay. Oh yeah. that's that's awesome I yeah. love that and she took she was like singing for Eisenhower and yes. stuff right? Yeah uh, right after the war she sang for most of the generals several times okay. and she was a big star in Europe but never really crossed over here to this country. Okay now what about this one? This is a 1954 Sunbeam uh, Talbot. Okay. And if you, anyone in the audience watches Father Brown on PBS, this is the type of car that is used in that car, in that show. And when is, where is this, when is this? This is a 1954 Sunbeam okay. Talbot. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, now the last one is the green one. Hang on one second while I get the mic over here for you. Okay. okay, so tell me about that. This is a 1951 Jowett Jupiner. Okay. It's all aluminum, handmade aluminum. The company that started this car, made this car, it took so long to make the car, they couldn't make any money. Okay. It was a great car. It won at the 24 Hours of Le Mans three, three years in a row. But they went out of business in 1954. Okay, and this is a 51. Okay, and you tried to, to they tried to sell it to rich people in California, yes, didn't they? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> when they couldn't sell it in Canada, in uh, UK, they made some left-hand drive, about 80 of them, and they tried to sell them there. Okay. So this car originally came from California. Awesome. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much, Tim. Appreciate it. This is how you can go. The then and now auto show in Lake Forest. Um, and you, Tim will be out here, so you can find out all about these cars and their history. And um, it's very, very, very cool. So I will be back in the next hour to show you a lot more. Do you guys pick out what you want? I'm partial to the rolls. <laughs> of course she is. You know, girl, I'm with you. The Rolls is good. And that little sports car, there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to get out of that. And no. maybe not in either. So no. I'm going to leave that one to the professionals. Those of a certain age must roll out of those vehicles. And I am one of those people <laughs> of age. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So you didn't just mean me. No. Okay. No, we're about the same age bracket. <laughs> we checked the same box. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we won't tell the secrets. Mm -mm. All right. Thank no. you, Marcella.